For the past couple of years after my Ferrari ass looking Alienware laptop died on me, I buried it in the backyard and bought a second hand Mac to make do with for uni. Which got me off the gaming wagon for a while, but that didn't stop me from hoeing myself to the ones that I could play. Like Darkest Dungeon, Papers Please, Shank, or even recently Return of the Oprah Den. So I made the horrible mistake of upgrading my second second hand MacBook to the new OS. That's like sacrilegious, I know. I mean, come on, you have a few brewskis and you're in lockdown alone in your room with your laptop and a sanitizer. One thing's gonna lead to another and shit's gonna go down. And before you know it, to a man living by himself and having a quarter life crisis, it was the only solace in my life. I mean that and drinking. But now to add fuel to the fire, they took away my 32 big games by not supporting them on Catalina or whatever the hell the new one is. I'd be pirating if it wasn't for the Steam doing all the stupid 32 bit technical shit and installing DirectX or whatever the crap those underpaid homeless indie devs want to put in their games. Now I can't even do that. That's like taking credit for all the heavy grocery lifting that your brother does from the car. Even when you compare those indie games to their console competitors, they're hella inspiring to play and were on consoles as well, like Nova 111, The Swindle, Super Meat Boy, Witcher 1 and 2, and now it's going to be wiped off the face of all Mac systems forever, unless you use Bootcamp or some shit, and nobody got time for that. Of course, I'll probably buy a PC in the future, but I gotta have my Mac gamers back, y'all. I mean, we're looking out for each other, the few of us that are still hanging in there, for dear lives to play them juicy 64-bit indie games. Anyway, with Apple having its own arcade and focus on streaming and whatnot, some of these 32-bit babies just got left behind. No big deal. I mean, I still leave my nephew out in the dog park every now and then, and forget about him, but he's totally fine. And it's also not the first time that this sort of thing has happened. Uh, a quirky funny segue into mobile ports of console games? Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys there we go. There used to be a dime a dozen mobile ports back in the day. When you had to, you know, sell a kidney to buy an iPhone. Nowadays you'd have to sell both of them to get the basic one. Games like Resident Evil 4, Bioshock, Splinter Cell, Dead Rising, DMZ4 Refrain, GTA Vice City, and even San Andreas. Even though they played like spanking a butt at ours, the idea of playing those classics on the loo or the tube was more than enough to keep you engaged for the 10 minutes that you did the commute for or went on the commute for. Those were console games that were ported to smartphones, but now most of them are no longer supported or even held hostage by other companies. It's tough out there. But games are being developed and designed from scratch for smartphones. It's like my dead grandma, she ain't coming back until the next GTA release. Hey, Vamsy here. I felt like switching up my style a little bit, you know, toss a salad as a man would say. So here we are. Do let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below and subscribe if you're into that sort of shiz, you know. Fucking hell, mom. I'm trying to record my heart out into this video. Get out.